Alright, Jojo from Mile Split here with Katie Rainsberger, Kate Murphy. Uh, just finished a, a tough 3K out there. Yeah. How, how are you ladies feeling? Definitely tired. It's been a really long season just from indoor to outdoor, but I'm glad to go out there and compete against the best in the world. Uh, Kate, how are you feeling? Uh, I feel like I'm kind of tired, but you know, it's always a blessing to run for Team USA, and I just think I am really thankful for this opportunity. Not my best race, but I think I'm more of a speed person okay. right now. Yeah, we, we definitely usually see you in that 1500. Did you guys have a certain certain goal for today and, and strategy? Did you guys think about? Honestly, I came here and I just want to have fun. Like these meets are always such a like such an honor, and you like it's like um you have to wear the uniform with respect. With respect. So to come out here, have fun, give your best. That's all you can really ask for. Uh, Oh, did you, do you have a goal? Oh, we have a plan. Oh, okay. yeah. I mean, obviously the goal is always to medal, but um, I just think, you know, performing your best on the day given um, is always the goal. So. Uh, what do you think is the, the hardest part about competing here? Um, there's definitely pressure on the table, and like, it depends on how much of it is like put on yourself, and how much of it is you know, atmospheric and how much it's from your coaches and just being able to handle that and like put it towards a positive energy I think is really important. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, I think the hardest part is just, um, you know, just having confidence in yourself even after a long season and uh, just trying to keep your strength up uh, to this time in the year. Yeah, and how did you guys adjust coming over to Poland, too? What do you think of the time difference? It was a little difficult at first. Like, Kate wakes up really early, but goes to bed really early. And I go to bed really late and wake up really late, so it's like... Uh, but we've kind of just been, like, doing the best we can. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's always... You always gotta try your best to adjust to the time zone. I just think um, everyone has to deal with it, so... Um, it just really depends on the person and how they... Um, how their bodies work. Um, yeah, it's definitely um, a harder adjustment, but yeah. Yeah, and you guys have both had, had pretty long seasons, and Kate, we saw you just a few weeks ago competing at the Olympic Trials. <laughs> yeah. uh, what was, what's been your schedule like since being in Eugene? Did you go back home to Virginia for yeah, a few days? Yeah, so I got back home uh, Monday night. So I had Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and then Friday morning, uh, went to the airport, and then Went to New York and then came here. So it's been kind of pretty busy. Um, you know, a lot of energy, um, especially at the trials. Yeah. Um, so it's been fun. It's you know, just getting these opportunities is really special. Well, what's been the biggest uh, biggest takeaway learning moment from this um, race? Or, yeah. Um, there's some really talented people out there, and it's humbling to come and you know like run these races and realize. Maybe the best room in Colorado or in the country, but like there are other girls your age from around the globe working just as hard, if not harder. And so it's like puts it everything into perspective, and it makes you want to work harder. Um, yeah, I just think you know coming out here, it's always like um, you know you see all these different countries out here, and you're like, wow, like I like I want to know all their stories, you know, because the USA, like obviously. Um, you could be the top top uh, high school or junior from the USA, but then come in like 20th year. So you know, it just puts things into perspective on the world stage and how um, different countries are, um, you know, thriving and others aren't. So. Definitely. And I know you guys just finished here, but uh, what's next for you? Lots of donuts and ice cream and maybe some Netflix. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think. Um, just um, resting, just taking um, a couple of down weeks, and then back home, just um, trying to get cheer on Team yeah, USA. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, here, yeah, cheering on Team USA, and then um, going back home and being a team leader. Gotcha. So taking a couple weeks off, and then yeah, when, I have to when talk you to start, you talk for, to coach. Yeah, I have to talk to my coach, but we're pretty sure. You know, I feel like healthy right now, so knock on wood, I'm going to run across in the fall. And um, But it's going to be a way later start. Like, probably won't race till like, late October, maybe November, and, like, then go 
out from there, but definitely some downtime and like I'll be on a little bit of a different schedule than some of the other girls. But my roommate in college is actually from New Zealand, and she's competing here in the 1500. So oh, we're gonna cool. kind of like come back on the same schedule. So yeah, we'll just take it day by day. Nice. Uh, what's what's your new roommate's name? Her name's Olivia Burden. Okay. So yeah, she'll we'll be running the 15. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and Kate, what what are your plans coming up? Um, like after this? Yeah. Yeah, just going back home um, and um, seeing my team. I know they're really excited. And, um, I haven't really got to see them in a while, so I was just going back. Yeah. And, and you're coming up, you're going to have a big, big senior year. Still one more year. Yeah, high school still left. one more year. <laughs> Has yeah. there been any talks? Are you trying to get her to become a duck? <laughs> I can't say anything. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so, yeah, I feel like everyone's graduating and I still have one more year, so just gotta... It goes um, back quicker than you think. Yeah, so, you know right now. maybe get, try to, um, you know, really cross-country mode. Yeah. Yeah, what, what advice would you give Kate when we were left in high school? Um, there's a lot of things you know, that you want to learn tell underclassmen. Just be patient. But you really have to trust the process. Like you're gonna want to go out, like you know, do it all at once. You want to do everything, you know, like you're so excited. You're like, oh my gosh, I have all these options, and then try all these coaches. Like you kind of just have to like take a step back and like really see like what works for you and like if you do well under these like this atmosphere you really just have to find like your fit and not force it and then you know enjoy it so, do, you, do you know yet uh maybe where what schools you might be looking at and we've also seen a lot of high schoolers go pro recently is that something you're thinking about at all um not really just because i think um just like you know, you gotta take it like step by step. You may, I may run like 4.7 this year, but it took me a long time to get back up to that from sophomore the end of um, last year, you know, so I just think, um, you know, it's, it's a process. It's a journey. Yeah, you need to, I feel like you need to, it's good to have a team and then to and stuff. Process. So you want to look at colleges then? Yeah, yeah. Okay. What did you guys think about Drew Turner Pro? I think that like at this point I'm really happy for him. Um, he did what he thought was best for Like I'm not gonna lie, I'm bummed we're not gonna be teammates, but I really think he has big things ahead. And like so, it, like I think Adidas is gonna take good care of him. And like I really like his parents. So I mean, yeah, like would've been cool to be teammates, but he's doing like what he thinks is best, and that's honestly the most important thing. Like you can't let anybody else tell you what to do. Yeah, it's whatever he thinks is a good choice for his best interest. Yeah. Well, thanks guys for the thanks. long interview. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. Good job. Good season.